Hello and welcome to Optimate Reels. I am Dr. Noor and today we are going to learn one more important technique of retinoscopy which objectively evaluate the accommodative response. We are going to learn about the monocular estimation method which is a near retinoscopy which measures the dynamic response of the accommodation so also known as a dynamic retinoscopy. So before I move ahead and show you how this MEM or monocular estimation method is done. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification of all my upcoming videos. Friends, let me show you how this procedure is done. You require a MEM card, but before that, you can see this is a clip which needs to be attached to this your retinoscope and we have a couple of MEM card so this card you can use and it is placed onto this retinoscope so let me attach this and now you can see this is the attachment patient has to read this at the distance of 40 centimeter and while examiners looks inside the patient's eye while neutralizing the reflex friends let me perform MEM on my patients so First important thing is the room has to be normally illuminated. You don't have to switch off light. And second thing is it is performed at the 40 centimeter distance for the adult and Harman's distance for the pediatric. Harman's distance is actually a distance from the elbow to this knuckle. So this is the distance at which a person's read. So I'm going to make her read this loud and so that uh, I can neutralize the reflection patient has to be fully corrected for the refractive error our patient is e metro what i can see is with movement so i'll be neutralizing that in one meridian usually uh, we perform this mem in the horizontal meridian by placing the stick vertically so i'm seeing with movement so i'll quickly place the lens in front of the eye to neutralize it and i can neutralize that with the plus 0.5 Make sure that you are not keeping these lenses for longer period of time in front of the eye. It can alter the accommodative response. The expected range for the MEM is plus 0.25 to plus 0.50 with the standard deviation of plus 0.25. Any values below Peno or above 0.75 is suspicious for accommodative anomalies. Hope this video was informative to you. Please like, share and subscribe the channel and comment your views in the comment section. See you. Bye-bye. Take care.